and Maureen Maureen joins us in studio to talk about Extraordinary Missionary Month. Maureen, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, Jay. It's a privilege to be here to talk about the missions, as always. Now, before we start, I have to give you this, and I have to be honest, it was Bonnie. Bonnie, bon Bonnie said, you're giving roses because of St. Therese. Of course. So those are yours. Well, they're mine, but I will share them with St. Therese because it's her feast day, and I know she's the patron of Catholic TV, but she was our patron first, patron <laughs> saint of the missions. She and St. Francis Xavier. So today we celebrate the patroness of the missions. And you know, she was named our patron and she never left home. She never went to the missions. Mm -hmm. She wanted to be a missionary to Vietnam and her health didn't allow it. But she stayed in her convent and she prayed for missionaries. And so that's why we have two pa patrons. St. Francis Xavier went to the missions and St. Therese stayed home and prayed for the missions. We so need prayers. It's the same two things that we ask people to do all the time, to pray and to act for mm -hmm. the missions. So the Holy Father, who we just, we just saw, we're mm -hmm. just, you and I were just watching That's him. right. Uh, your boss. Our boss, that's <laughs> right. I work for the, I tell people all the time, I work for the Pope. I, I, I meet with him three or four times a week, you know. <laughs> we're, we're like this. So, yeah. <laughs> well, he's declared October as the Extraordinary, uh, Extraordinary Missionary Month. That's uh, right. Tell us about that. Well, it's a really exciting time for those of us at the Pontifical Mission Societies. Um, he, did, he actually named this um, month last year to give us time to promote it and move up towards it. So the Extraordinary Mission Month is being celebrated all over the world. And you know, one of the benefits now with social media is that we get to be in touch with mission offices from nations all over the world. So we're watching South Africa and Papua New Guinea and Malawi and Ireland and all these other countries doing the same work we are. And that's calling people to a, pers a deeper personal relationship with Jesus Christ, um, focusing them on uh, missionary martyrs and saints, asking them to be more aware of what we call the mission agentes. And agentes means, is Latin, it means mm -hmm. to the world. Mm -hmm. So be more aware of what's happening in the universal church in the missionary hemisphere of the world. And then also to mission solidarity, to action, whether it be in their own home, their neighborhood, but more specifically to support for missionaries around the world. So those are the four goals we have for the Extraordinary Missionary Month that the Holy Father himself has asked us to look to. And he gave us a theme, it's called Baptized and Sent, the Church of Christ on Mission in the World. And he wants us all to just be aware that by our very baptism, we're called to be missionaries. You know, most of us were carried in as babies when we were baptized, and so you might not realize that the gospel that's read at your baptism is the Great Commission. Go to the whole world and preach the gospel to every creature. So at your baptism, you're given that job. So you're a tiny baby, big job. Go to the world, <laughs> go to the world. And, and how fortunate we, we have you on the first day of the month. There you have it. See, it's all, it's all planned. It is. It's all planned. Providence is, is beautiful. So we do this show in the Archdiocese of Boston. Mm -hmm. We're here in Boston. Um, how do we celebrate in Boston this, this great month? Okay, well in Boston we've been preparing for this for months and months and um, we've been leading up to it in a few ways, um, obviously using our social media. But we've been contacting all the parishes with bulletin announcements every couple of weeks and we've been focusing them on um, the missionary saints that the, the Vatican asked us to focus on, um, the holy people, some of them blessed, some of the venerable, um, and also mission countries where these people either lived or served if they were missionaries. So we've given them just little short educational blurbs to, to uh, publish every couple of weeks um, to, to help the people kind of get animated and excited and understand more of what the mission church is all about. We've been obviously in contact with the donors to the mission societies to help them to better understand how missionaries are using their support. So very specific stories of priests, sisters, lay people in the missions who are actually carrying out this work every single day. Um, so I think it's really important for people to understand that it's not just a, a spiritual apostolate, it's very physical work when you're a missionary. You know, you don't just go in and, and literally pick up a book and preach the gospel. You're also doing every corporal work of mercy 
you can think of. Mm -hmm. Because the Catholic Church is the largest social service organization in the world. So we're feeding people, we're bringing medical care, we're, we're housing the homeless and, and bringing food to people, we're educating children, and all over the world, that's dependent on missionaries. And so it's dependent on the, on the mission societies. So here in Boston, we're trying to enliven that missionary spirit through um, publications to the bulletins, um, through our social media, through events that we have mission speakers. Um, I just did a mission retreat at a parish. So also a, a mix of all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. But we're kicking off this month on Thursday with the Cardinal at the Pastoral Center with school children. Um, and actually, and, and some parish faith formation kids as well. Mm -hmm. um, we invite them all to be part of a little mission retreat day. We have a speaker coming in, um, Sarah from Rockville Center, who is gonna talk about um, climate change and how that's affecting children in the missions and what missionaries are doing to help them. Um, and Doug in the afternoon is a missionary in Haiti and he co-founded one of the largest Catholic NGOs in Haiti. He's been there about 25 years. The Cardinal will say mass and he will commission the kids all to go back to their schools and parishes to be the mission leaders. Um, and of course we culminate with World Mission Sunday at the end of the month and that's at the cathedral on the 20th uh, and everyone is invited, but by the way, I'm gonna I hold this that. up. I knew you were gonna pull and that I'll hold up. up my poster here. Um, this poster will be hanging in every church in the Archdiocese on World Mission Sunday, the 20th of October. Um, every church in the world, this is the great thing about our church being universal. So from the tiniest little mission outstation to St. Peter's Basilica itself, they will celebrate the propagation of the faith and World Mission Sunday and asking for prayers and material support to help missionaries. So in Boston, that's the poster that you'll see hanging in your church to remind you that it's ba you're baptized and sent. And if, if you seek it out in your parish, you can look at it really closely and you'll see the faces of the missions all put into those letters. So you'll see um, a young man who's been made a doctor in Uganda through the help of missionaries. You'll see a confirmation happening in Papua New Guinea. Um, uh, just great stories from all over the world. And we've sent out materials to help the parish enliven their own celebrations as well. So we're looking for it to be a huge day here in Boston. And you did you did some blinks with us as well, which are, are little programs, what were those? Well, it, uh, it was a great time too, so thanks for having me this past summer. So we did the mission blinks and we taped some series. And again, I focused on um, people like Pauline Jericho, who is venerable, and she's the foundress of the propagation of the faith, um, on Fulton Sheen, and some uh, blesseds from the missions, mission countries that um, we want your viewers to know about to help them really enliven themselves and again come to a deeper relationship with Jesus during this month. And those will be aired, I believe, this month. You'll mm, be yes. so you'll be seeing my face a little more <laughs> um, this month on Catholic TV, and we're really excited to have this partnership with you to share the stories of the missions and mission saints and um, all the people who make this great work possible that we're all called to by our baptism. Well, we're running out of time, but you said something that was very interesting to me before we started the show today. You said that you go to some places and, and people don't even have food to eat for That's a few right. days. That's you must right. see some very sad and yet inspiring uh, opportunities out there because we're helping people who really are struggling. I do, and, I, and you know, in my travels, um, I'm, I'm about to take a trip um, that will end up in Papua New Guinea, and that'll be the, the last populated continent for me to visit mm -hmm. in, in our great world. And so I've seen the church where it's flourishing um, in, in Africa, and I've seen it um, suppressed in Cuba. I've seen it persecuted in Sri Lanka. Um, but the, the common thread is the incredible devotion, not only of the missionaries, but of the people, the Catholics, who are going out of their way to share what little they have, to lift up each other, mm -hmm. and to be donors to the mission societies. Even from their, their severe want, 
they will be donating on World Mission Sunday. They will be educating their children of how to share the faith and give to others because they've learned it from missionaries. It's a brilliant thing to see. Well, we're almost out of time. Where can people find out more about the work? You can go to our website, um, www.propfaithboston.org, and we will have a um, prayer a day calendar for you. We will have a prayer that you can pray every Friday with the Holy Father after you watch the Angelus right here on Catholic TV. He has asked every Catholic to pray the Extraordinary Mission Month prayer, and that will be on the front page of our website as well. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Always a pleasure. Thanks for having me, Jay.